Hey there, fellows. In today's video, we'll be featuring a... How do I say? Simple experiment. Well, I mean... If things go as planned, which is never a given. Now, I've been considering the idea for quite some time, as something fun to do. Plus, recently we've been getting requests from the viewers. Hey, we're all for it. Right here I've got some... Let me try that again. I've got a car. As per usual, we'll be using a lot of... Aside from it, I've got some flushing oil and some regular motor oil. These are filters. The idea is to try doing an oil change while the engine is running, without switching it off. I mean, who knows, maybe your engine has trouble starting because of a bad battery, and you need to change the oil right away for whatever reason. I mean, it is hard to imagine that kind of situation, but let's imagine that it's actually real. We can't switch the engine off, but we do need to change the oil, with an engine flush in between, because in all likelihood the internals are absolutely filthy. We have to keep the engine running. I mean, perhaps this is all happening in a place where it's very cold, where you can't really find decent oil, and if you turn the engine off, it'll cool down and potentially refuse to start. Or we can assume that the starter is dead and the car is an automatic, which is actually the case here. It's not like you can push start it. We were definitely unable to. Anyway, let's go ahead and try this out. It's a simple enough process. So we start the car, we warm it up, drop the old oil, fill the engine with flushing oil, we wait for the 10 to 15 minutes required to clean the engine, then we drop that oil, replace the old filter, pour in some fresh oil, and see what happened to the engine. I mean, will it even survive that long? I mean, it might seize right when I'm about to pour the oil in. Alright, let's try this out and see what happens. Okay, so the holiday season is over. But for our fanbase, we want the holidays to continue. And so we've prepared a new present for you. Everybody who spends a hundred dollars or more in our shop is gonna receive a special little surprise from me personally. It could be a video message for you or a friend, my autograph on a t-shirt or a hoodie, or an autographed postcard. Make sure to specify what you want in the order form. Always in stock we have sick looking hoodies, stylish hats, t-shirts, caps, mugs, stickers, key fobs, as well as accessories for your cars. Plus, we are always cooking up new merch ideas, so treat yourself or someone close to some Garage 54 goodness. Hit the link in the description, spend $100 or more, and get a nice little personalized bonus. Make sure to use the code GARAGE100, good for a solid discount. Can you change the oil on a running engine? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. All right, step one, warming it up. Go ahead. That it's gonna do on its own, obviously. Okay, we'll let it warm up. Once it does, the revs are gonna normalize. Okay, fellas, we're looking good. The engine is warm. You'd notice that it isn't running perfectly, but no worries. That's totally normal. And now we just need to carefully drain the oil. Without scalding ourselves. Because it is very hot and very runny. The engine is on and even though we... removed the breather tube, you still got the gases in the crankcase. Wait, I mean the gases that find their way, well, yeah, into the crankcase. But where exactly are they coming from? So basically it's when the piston is on the upswing that... It's the gases that are slipping by the piston rings, between the cylinder wall and the piston itself. That's what's creating excess pressure within the crankcase. And that's why you feel air blowing from the tube. Though you really shouldn't when the engine is in perfect working condition. Even if there is blow-by, it's gonna be at a bare minimum. We have a bit more than we'd like. But the good news is that we don't have any smoke coming out of there. Okay, let's drain the oil. I have never done this before. It'll be a bit noisy. 
Sergey, should we maybe... Then again, no, I don't see the need. I thought we could maybe lift it slightly. But it's all right. Okay, let's drain it. And hope we survive. This is gonna be interesting. I've got my tall bucket. I might want to wear a glove, though. Or maybe not. That was premature. It's a really tall bucket. You want me to lift it? No, I'll just drop it right in there. There we are. It's sort of pouring out intact with the cylinders and how they're firing. Good thing this is such a tall bucket. We've got gases blowing out. Look at that, that is some severe blow-by. Sergey! I wasn't prepared for this. Can you get me a rag? Get me a rag. Oh, wow, the bucket is so hot. Right, now let's flush the engine. Sergey, can you get the plug out with a magnet? Gotcha. We'll let it keep pouring while he's looking for a magnet. See the smoke? That's from the oil. Now we move the bucket away, and Sergey looks for the plug. Fantastic. Oh, it is hot. I guess I'll have to suck it up. It has to be done for the sake of the experiment. Okay, nice. Now I just need to tighten it. But not too much. We will be removing it very soon. And now the interesting part. The engine is still running, that's nice. Now we just need to pour in some oil. While making sure it doesn't spew back out again. With there being so much blow-by. Right, let's give this a try. Look at that, it seems to be working. I mean, that's nice. And the reason the engine isn't spitting it back out? Has to be down to the funnel. If we'd have used a regular one, the crankcase gases would have created quite a fountain. Now, if you've never added oil to our running engine, you shouldn't. Unless you want everything covered with oil. But here, the length of the funnel is preventing that from happening. Nice. Now, keep in mind that out of 5 liters, we only need... Then again, keep pouring. Let's give it a good clean. It's definitely been a while. That's enough? Yeah, that'll do. Oh, wow, that smells. You see what's happening? Now let's put the cap back on. Now we just need to... Leave it alone. And wait. For a little bit. The instructions say that you need to run the engine for 5 to 10 minutes on this particular flushing oil. Let's give it all 10. The engine is going to be nice and clean. It'll be good. Okay, now we wait. All right, we've waited for 10 minutes. And the time has come to start draining the flushing oil. And to do that, we need to get under the car and drop it, the flushing oil. Man, everything is so slippery covered in oil. But no worries. 
Excellent. And now, it's important to avoid burning myself. And that's not an easy feat by any means. A bit of oil will get onto my hand, and it is very hot. But okay. So it's hot, and also the flushing oil has a very unpleasant smell to it. Look at that. The flushing oil is so runny that... It's pretty much gone. But this isn't over quite yet. There's one more thing we still need to do. And that is... Replace the oil filter, of course. Oh my. It is pungent. Yeah, it's splashing out. There's still a bit left in there. What do we do? I guess we need another pan? Yes, we do. It appears that the oil pump is creating quite a bit of pressure. Well, of course the pressure is going to drop. It fell right in there. So now we know that there is no oil left in the system whatsoever. After removing the old filter. And now we install a new one. Tremendous. Superb. Okay, now I dive back in. And reinstall the drain plug. But first we have to find it. Wait, I might have not even dropped it in there. Uh-huh. Oh, there it is. Oh, see? Told you I didn't drop it in there. Everything here is so hot. And wet, I mean, covered in oil. And we tighten it. Excellent. That didn't taste good. Okay, let's do this. And now we're... at the final stage. Where we pour in the motor oil. Come on. Forty-eight. Point forty-eight. Hold on now. As soon as it begins to flow. There we go. That's enough, dude. It's a lot of engine. You're pouring in too much. How much did you pour in? Oh, we actually need to add some more. To me, it looked like you poured the whole bottle in. Fantastic. It runs so much better. Where's the cap? Of course it does, on fresh oil and after a clean. I mean, no surprises there. The pressure gauge is reading one. 
нормально. That looks good. Так. It's all good. Now, what about the sights and sounds? Exceptional. Very good indeed. This engine seems to be feeling great. Okay, so here's what's up. We poured some oil into our running engine, as you would have just seen for yourselves. Well, I mean, for us there's pretty much no such thing as impossible, which is not to say that we didn't encounter a few difficulties. They were inevitable. First of all, there was some blow-by, and as a result, when you pour the oil in through the filler, it gets forced back out, unless you use a special extra-long funnel. In order to prevent the crankcase gases from throwing it out. So disconnecting the breather was a good idea. But then perhaps if connected to the intake manifold those gases would have been drawn in. But then installing the air cleaner would have created even more issues in terms of access. Let's see what else. Another problem is that this was a very messy process. We made a pretty big mess. Why don't we have a look, actually, at the mess we made? Look at the big oil spill. Some hot oil. I mean, it had to have cooled off by now. But on the way out, it was super hot. And the smell was awful. So you could burn and intoxicate yourself. The smell was very unpleasant. So you'd better not inhale it. Also, look. We still have some warm oil inside the bucket, which still hasn't stopped smoking. I mean, steaming. Yeah, let's go with that. So there it is. I hope you can see it. That oil is still very hot. If the gauge that shows you the engine temperature based on coolant temp is reading like 90 degrees Celsius, well, with the oil it is going to be a completely different picture. That's because aside from lubrication, oil also aids in cooling. It does soak up a lot of heat. And so when you're draining the oil from a hot engine, the temperature is going to be much higher than 90 degrees. Well, that's all I have for you, fellows. We're looking at a 107% success rate here. We did make a serious mess that we're going to have to clean up, but okay. Anyway, watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later. Пока.